Devin with the Cage Rage Podcast, continuing our coverage on UFC Wichita, and we just witnessed a very good women's fight in the women's bantamweight division, and the official outcome is Yana Kunitskaya wins a unanimous decision over Marion Renau. It was a very good fight in the third round. Renau busted up Kunitskaya really well, broke her nose, and, you know, we got... Just some funny tweets going on about it. (laughs) You know, uh, Yana looks like she just ate her way through a Walking Dead episode and all these different things. It was was very bloody. She had like a beard of blood going into that third round. I'll have to rewatch the fight, but I actually had the first round. I remember at the end of the first round thinking Marion Renau had won that first round. I thought she landed the more crisper punches. And when just looking at this fight... Kuniskaya's corner had it right in between in between rounds from the second and third about keeping distance and peppering her with shots from distance, and you know that was correct. That was a good game plan for her. She was she was uh she was the more effective striker there. I still think Renal had more had more snap in her shots. She seemed to be the more powerful striker, the stronger wrestler, the stronger competitor. So this is a tough loss for. Renau. And when we look at these ladies, Kuniskaya is now 12 and 4 overall, 29 years old. She's now on a two fight win streak. Her Octagon debut, she's a former Invicta contender. Her Octagon debut was a title fight at 145 pounds against Chris Cyborg that she lost in the first round. She's now 2 0 since moving to Bantamweight. And when we look at Renau, Renau is now on a two-fight losing streak, losing to Kunitskaya officially, even though that's questionable, and Zinganu, and she's overall, she's got a now 4-4 four and four UFC record. So this was a tough loss for her, and coming in tonight, when we look at these rankings, both these ladies were ranked at women's bantamweight. You got, of course, the champion Amanda Nunez up there at the top, but coming into tonight, Renal was ranked number six, and Kuniskaya was down there at number nine. So this was a top ten fight with a lot of implications moving forward in this division. I don't think either one of their stocks really fell. I think it would have been interesting to see Renal get the victory. 41 years old, it was a cool story. Um, I'm not sure that Kuniskaya did enough to win this fight, in my opinion, but... It was the judge's verdict, and we will cover more fights moving forward. Stay tuned to the CRP.